swoop and get it done quicker and faster. So um, we're glad to have you on board. And what we're going to do is see you one morning, get the um, the records that we need, impressions, diagnostic models are made. We're going to um, get some photographs of your posture. We're going to do some baseline blood pressure, pulse, okay. and um, heart rate. We're going to also look at the um, blood pressure, but also the EKG. All of that's your baseline, it's just what is. I do have a question about this. I'm taking blood pressure medicine. If you're saying that this lowers my blood pressure, what does that do? Uh, you know. You're thinking too much. Should, no. should yeah, I not? Yeah, they're a good question. Too. Should I not take the... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. You cannot do that. Okay. Uh, you always work with your doctor, but what okay. happens is you need to watch your blood pressure. We're going to encourage you to take. Do you have a cup? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's an arm cup. Yeah. Yes. So take it the same time every day, and if you're getting normalized in your breathing, the obvious response is usually a lowering of the pulse, raising of the oxygen, and in your case, you'll see the blood pressure start coming down. That's what I need to call my doctor. And say oh, then you need to say, I'm, I'm actually sleeping, uh, I actually have this appliance during the day, so I'm not getting just care at night, I'm getting help during the day, and I need to come in and talk to you about maybe getting a sleep study, my blood pressure's going down, and I know I need some adjustment in okay. my meds. So, you are doing the right thing and ask the right questions. I had a patient that continued to ignore that admonition and uh, they would even worse take their blood pressure medication at night. So here he is, he's got his device in, yeah. he's sleeping better and took his blood pressure down so he almost panicked at night and thought he had to go to the hospital and his wife reminded him of what I said. Yeah. So please don't put yourself in that position because okay. it will take it down too low. Yeah. And what's interesting about this is if you have low blood pressure, poor circulation out into the periphery, you get this bounced out in the autonomic nervous system and the blood flow starts going out, you'll actually have an increase towards normal. Well, that's what my brother-in-law is experiencing. Yes. Yeah, that's right. He had very low, see, I'm the opposite. Yeah. My, I'm, I'm trying to bring mine down, but mine with the medication is pretty good, but yeah. I, that's what I was asking. Yeah, it could go lower, so you want to be careful. Okay. Don't wait. Start seeing it going down, get in there and start talking to him about a sleep study. Right. And getting get these medications re re So even though I've had a sleep study, I should get another one. Six years is probably you're not even the same person that they did the sleep study. I look a lot older. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, I see that you have gotten your beauty sleep because of it, but <laughs> only one third of what you could have with implants. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're gonna make sure you get into. Can you do that at the VA here first in screening, or do you have to go all the way to Richmond? I have to go all the way to Richmond. Well, when we get that clinic here, that'll help. But the, I did go, I go in every, every year, and the last time they read the machine and all the things, and they say that with the CPAP, I'm doing well. Right. And so what I'm we're not looking having, for I'm is... I'm not having a lot of episodes. Of right. But what we're doing is trying not to upset the cart, okay. but even raise the bar so that you can do uh, things have a better quality of life and even get better treatment and lose some of that weight and not have to take those meds. I dare say if you were looking at some of these meds, you'd see that part of your weight problem is there. They allow you to continue to have a blockage in your throat and not have the oxygen and hook, beef up your metabolism. Well, if this thing helps me, because I've really tried to lose weight, right. and I'm eating well, yeah. and it's very difficult. <clears throat> So if I start lose, losing weight, my wife will love you. Well, that and should present some problems, about, but she's we'll concerned. Deal with that then. Well, she's concerned. <laughs> no, and that's she'll one of the things that happens. I mean, she'll appreciate it. When, when we start yeah. putting on too much yeah. weight, um, that is uh, a sign that uh, we're, we're looking for a place to have a heart attack. We're, it's it's just with guys, it's just yeah. that way. Women, it's always I think. They can go off into the whole autoimmune stuff with rheumatoid arthritis and all kinds of Sogrens and um, just chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia. They wish they were dead, but they just don't have the cardiovascular like we have, especially with the weight gain. And it's a symptom. That's all it is. It's associated with a sleep problem, 
activity problem, who wants to work out and uh, take a walk or go outside, just loosen up. I mean, it's, after a while you just get feel better being a couch potato than activity. All right, okay. so, uh, go make that appointment. Let's get you Let's going. Do it.